Welcome to Cooking with Gerald. On today's episode, I'll be making a very easy, very budget-friendly banana pudding. Before we get started, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I like to say welcome and please come back because I'll be posting a lot of good content. And for those of you that are return viewers, welcome back. And please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and go ahead and share with everyone that you know as well as leave me some comments down below. I will be uploading videos regularly. So go ahead and click that notification bell in the top right hand corner of the screen so you don't miss out on the videos each time I do upload a new one. Now on to the video. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel and my kitchen. Cooking with Gerald. Today I'm making a simple banana pudding. Now, there's several different ways you can make banana pudding. You can make it 100% homemade, which is the way that I normally do make it, which is making the pudding from scratch. Um, and you can even go as far as making the wafers from scratch as well. And then using um, a meringue, topping and baking it or you don't have to use meringue you can actually use whipped cream and put it on top okay this is a shortcut way to make it this is using store-bought pudding that you just put milk in um, and then I have some homemade whipped cream that I whipped up by hand so with this one you just follow the instructions on the package for the um, pudding and then you select your crackers, your cookies, either you can do chessmen, which I have right here, uh, butter cookies, or else you can do the vanilla wafers. Also, what some people will do with some recipes, like for example, this bakery in New York City called Magnolia's Bakery, instead of adding milk to the pudding mix, and they use a regular vanilla pudding mix and not banana pudding mix, and I'll explain to you why I'm doing this one. But um, you actually, do a can of condensed milk and some water to thin the condensed milk out. Um, I guess that actually sweetens the pudding even more. I don't like milk, but I do like milk inside of things. Um, and the sweetened condensed milk to me tastes too milky, if that makes any sense. And I don't like bananas. I like banana flavor, but I don't like the raw bananas. It's just something about the consistency kind of slimy that I just don't like. And I guess you could slice the bananas um, down the middle and then scrape out the seeds when you do make banana pudding. And that'll prevent the bananas from turning brown and breaking down as quickly as they would with the seeds in there. So to get started, I have my casserole dish right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fold my pudding into my whipped cream. Actually, you know what, vice versa. So let me save some of this whipped cream to put on top, so. As you can see, the whipped cream has been beaten to stiff peaks. I whip this whipped cream by hand, which can be a task. Um, by folding this whipped cream in here, what it does is it lightens up the, um, the pudding. Also added some vanilla flavoring in both the pudding as well as inside of the um, whipped cream. And then I also added about a tablespoon of sugar inside the whipped cream to sweeten it up a little bit. Like I said, some people like to use the condensed sweetened milk because it does make it, the pudding sweeter in addition to it already be, being sweetened because it's prepackaged that way versus if you're making it from scratch. When you're making it from scratch, you control the, the amount of sugar you want to put in there. All right, so folding this in gently so that I don't lose the volume. You want to keep doing this until both the pudding and the whipped cream have harmoniously blended together so there's not too much white and there's not streaks of yellow but an even color
which is what I have right here. tastes pretty good now once again I, and I'm going to strongly emphasize this usually when you're making the banana pudding from scratch you may add some whipped cream in there you may just use the pudding by itself if you do not sweeten your whipped cream it is going to take away from some of the sweetness of the pudding just so that you know so take that as you may now normally I do use the vanilla wafers, but I thought about using both today, putting the vanilla wafers on one side and then the chestnut cookies on the other on one side. So we start off with the cream. I think I am going to do half and half. Half on one side, half on the other side. Just correcting this. But this is the traditional way that you do make it. So. And with this pudding, you can make several different variations. You can add strawberry to this. You can add caramel. You can add whatever you like. Now, normally this is where you would actually cut the bananas up and put them on top as a layer. And you also can make these and put them in little small ramekins or even you can make them in um, like the plastic clear throwaway cups as well and you can freeze them afterwards putting freeze as well as long as it's sealed properly i ship pies like banana cream pie Coconut cream pie. I ship those all the time. Hold on, where is it? Okay, all right, so this is my last layer.
right. So now I'll go ahead and put this last bit of, put it on the top. So this is a very quick, easy dessert. You can make it with your children, grandkids, whatever. Very, very easy and very less messy for them to make and does not require a mixer. All it requires is a whisk and a rubber scraper or wooden spoon, whichever one you prefer using. All right, so now I'll go ahead and add my whipped cream, the remainder on top. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and watching my video. Please leave me some comments down below and let me know what you thought about the video. Also, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, share this video with everyone that you know, and don't forget to click that notification bell in the top right hand corner of the screen so that you'll be notified each time I do upload a new video. You can also find me on other social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I also have a Facebook group, Cooking with Gerald, we post recipes and photos of dishes that we've cooked. All of my links to all these platforms are down below. Until next time, stay safe.